Welcome to the Twilight Saga podcast. What she said. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> All right, I'm Whit Godfrey, the producer. I, I'm David Sled, the director. Just Gay Spencer, Sam Uly. Julia Jones, the Clearwater. Alex Mraz, Paul. What was y'all's favorite scene that we shot? What was your favorite scene in the movie? Favorite scene? I like the battle scene. I like the end when we come running out. That was that was a, that was a good, good scene. Yeah. I I was I was uh, surprised that there's a cut when we run up. We come running up and we see Taylor there. Mm. Um, there was a cut that you guys used, <laughs> and I'm smirking because the take that take if you if you were to play it back, mm -hmm. we're running like across the ravine and it was wet. There was about a, a foot of rain everywhere. Mm. And I had just got done telling the guys, oh, it's really wet out there. You know, don't, don't put slip. the weight on the back of your heels. Put it on the balls of your feet. You get more traction. And yeah. Do it. So we're running. And then me, you it's the big mouth. I wipe <laughs> out. You know, I throw oh. an F-bomb out there. Oh. <laughs> and then, you know, no one calls cuts. So, oh, I to get back up. And then you run yeah. up. And I'm trying to still look cool and intense. We just <laughs> think Paul's, Paul's the jerk who doesn't care that yeah. uh, yeah, Jacob's I, I been get, injured. It right, no, but you're really in. You're you really in because you're a little, we, we got you. We got you. We got that in there. That's yeah, right. that was cool. Yeah, we got you. Yeah. So you redeemed it. I would do. <laughs> <laughs> we bring ballet in into our world, I guess, and it's more because it's, it's a family decision, you know. I think, I think because we love Jacob, and um, we can hear each other's thoughts. We support him, and we know she needs protection because our brother wants to protect her. So, I think it's something that, that it shows how how we're very much a community. I was like a tribe, more well, obviously a tribe. Um, I think for uh, Sam, you know, he's been through an experience, but uh, especially with uh, Leah and Emily, mm. that he can relate to um, to Jacob and his love for her, Absolutely. not knowing the the later outcome you yes. know, as the books progress. But um, yeah, I think that because we can hear each other's thoughts, I can uh, I his character can relate that, to that. That there was mm. this empathy between mm. Sam. It is. There is. And, and Jacob, and you brought mm. that. I never mm. directed you to to, to do yeah, that. You yeah. just did that. And well, I, yeah, I read the books. I just kept kept mm -hmm. watching you do it mm -hmm. and going, "That's great." Yeah, I mean, when don't I was reading say, the books, I was like, "Don't say anything to him." Like, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, I did my, no, I did my homework. I definitely yeah. did my homework. And I read it yeah. and I thought, you know. Sam is, is, you know, he's a reluctant leader because remember, he's not supposed to be there. No. It's Jacob supposed Jacob's to be there. So be there, he's yeah. just given this job mm -hmm. and it's, he's sacrificed so much. And so when it comes down to it, you know, when Jacob's going through these things with Bella, he, he understands the longing love mm -hmm. and some choices you have to make and yeah. knowing that also this might not work out. Yes. Yeah. Most likely it won't. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, it was really, it was to take on. Uh, uh, Sam was uh, it was definitely a challenge because as by nature I'm a pretty animated guy mm. and so when you when you come to like a leader you, you have to really have like I know some people in my life who are really born leaders mm. they're very still you know they don't have to say much yeah. you take them very serious and uh, they don't have to they don't have to raise their voice too much because you want to meet someone of who's uh, um, that brings that type of weight it's 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 you listen to them mm. so that's that's was, that was kind of a challenge not do too much yes yeah. I'm interested to know too, David, because we never really got a chance to talk very much. But I, I'm always like fascinated by directors and what they have to undergo. Um, and with this film, you kind of adopted a yes. cast, a pre-existing mm -hmm. cast. Like, yeah. how, how was that for you to you yeah. know, it work with like, us? It was, it was nothing like I expected it to be. First of all, I did as many one-on-one -on -one meetings with actors as I could, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so basically, my you know, I was listening a lot just to try and absorb as much of mm -hmm. the past. Yeah. All of the things that was liked and not liked about, you know, experience of, of, of playing that character before. Did a lot of that with, um, you know, when, particularly with, with, with uh, Kristen, Rob, and Taylor, but also with as many people as I could fit in, basically. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So by the time we got to, you know, rehearsals, um, I, that pretty much had been absorbed, you know. So, and also these guys never really pressured me to to kind of be like you must shoot it in this way or that way to, to, mm -hmm. to match the other films. It was just a case every now and again I get a nudge to say, well, you know, the, there's this continuity which you have mm -hmm. to do. So really, because it was such a vast and epic thing, the yeah. books like it's thick and, yeah. and you know, Melissa's script was br brilliantly condensed but still epic. Uh, the idea of holding the entire film in my head was would have blown it, my head up. So mm -hmm. I was just basically breaking it into tiny pieces and going. And so the whole process was mechanical. It was very emotional and all the rest of it. But um, the inheritance part, inheritance part, wasn't too wasn't intrusive in any way. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I think um, 
I think I think I, I was I think I, I tried to take some art down from Bella's wall. Right. <laughs> I didn't like. I was like, I hate this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. we were like, yeah, she could have just changed her. I was like, garage sale. We can live she with got that. Rid of this. She got rid of this. You know. Um, but you know, I mean, we extended some of the sets. Yeah. So we, you know, but but you know, um, the thing is, you all got you guys all nailed your characters, so it, it, it wasn't really. I remember the first time when you all kind of ran away. And we hadn't done a rehearsal or anything. We just did a little block, and you all kind of grab. You know, I was like, "Whoa!" Yeah. I was going to ask them to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Force around a little. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and it was really easy. So, um, no, that was the least, least. That was the least, um, least of my concerns on the film. No, actually, that was easy.